So right when the thermometer said it was 103 degrees outside, Mike said, let's go work on the bus, which might be your biggest clue as to why we're putting in the AC as our very next project. That's right. This could be one or two things. This could be one, how Mike and Carrie installed their air conditioning system and were able to stay cool through the summers in Arizona. Or two, how not to mess up the entire front of your bus. Seventeen and five sixteenth, twelve and a sixteenth is eighty-two. And we're going to transfer all those measurements out here from this line, and this line right here will be the bottom of that area above the windshield. Okay. Twenty-two is seventeen and eleven sixteenths. Nineteen and one sixteenth. 18 and 7 eighths. All right. Let's go see what it looks like on the inside. All right, come on. There it is. I like it. I think it looks great. It does look really good. So now we get to measure for the main split piece that goes right here, and then whatever else we want anywhere else on this. But it actually looks really good. Super happy with that. This line and this line are the boundaries of the lower and left side of this cubby right here. And it can't be, it's gonna have to be like at an angle. angle. It can't be, I can't curve it yeah. very well. That works. So. Okay, wait, you're gonna put that on your back? That's right. I actually learned this from, um, well, I didn't learn this from. When, when I used to videotape um, uh, illegal aliens smuggling drugs into this country, um, it was actually a job. Meta Spencer, take note of my weird jobs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I used to videotape illegal aliens coming into this country. Um, and uh, so we used to find, you know, bags of drugs with the Border Patrol. And this is the kind of, arrangement they used a lot of time. We actually found one where the guy was carrying it with, and these were made of barbed wire, and I'm glad we didn't run into that guy. But, uh, wow. So yeah, so this is the straps, and we'll strap it on like this. As learned from border hopping. Drug smugglers. <laughs> and there it is. Oh my gosh, okay, are you ready? I'm ready, let's do this. Can he do it? We're about to find out. How much does that thing weigh? I don't know, 50, 60 pounds maybe. Ugh. Very impressive. Okay, so this is the part where I actually need your help, is getting it off. This is just a temporary scaffold for the for the mini split. We're gonna set it on there, and then um, when we build, when the deck comes to this part from back there as it moves forward, we'll be able to remove that and lift this into place without having to disconnect all the cables and stuff. Okay. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway. But I don't know. We'll see. It's a good plan. I like it. So we got to get it from here to there, though. Do you need my help on this? I don't know. How 
Probably not. Unless I start falling off the roof, then I'm gonna change my mind. You handled that like a boss. This is just in the weird event that um, an earthquake happens in Arizona. Yeah, it costs too much to not do this. We're getting a penguin. Why wouldn't we? We're getting a penguin for sure. <laughs> Looks pretty good from down here, babe. Cool. Shocking. Battery died. Kind of a cool drill bit, huh? It's very cool. It's like that guy on the Incredible Incredibles. What? Oh, the mold? The Underminer! Ha ha ha! Cool. It's actually happening. This is a cable gland and you pass cables through it so that it will, uh, uh, you can waterproof things. So look straight down this hole right here. So if you twist this, it squeezes whatever you have in there. Normally cable, but in this case, it's a piece of pipe for our air conditioning. And creates a watertight. And it creates a watertight seal, yeah. Genius little devices. Well, look, $60 worth of brass parts in this little teeny tiny bag. These are the things that if you don't know, you won't budget for them. But you have to have some way to get it through the bus and get it all connected and it doesn't come with the unit. So it needs to be like that and like that in the end. Isn't that the part that has to go through the gland? <coughs> yes. Ah. Really a wise decision to put this right above the emergency exit door. What? Makes it really handy to reach out and have an arm on the inside and outside of the bus. I got a lot of truth in that. A lot of truth in that. Good call on placement. gonna get hard. How's it going in there? Good. Whoa. Uh, hold this up flat like this. And then we need to feed this out. This is copper. This is for the suit because I'm about to do an EVA outside the craft, outside the bus craft in space. Here. So they say everybody forgets this once on every project or you're not human is to put this on before you flare it. So I'm going for the non-human status here. Break like a 
shorts at all. Oh, I need a drink of water. I have this all ice cold water in the fridge. Old school. He's all about the gallon jug of cold water in the fridge. Arizona. <laughs> nice little work zone you've got here. Lights, refrigerator. Next, air conditioning. Air conditioning. You're a little bit spoiled, mister. If only I'd pass it fit. Right? You were hulking out and... There. You really saw it go in there all of a sudden. touch right there is yeah. it and then that corner just needs to be shaved a little bit. I think we're done for tonight. Tomorrow we're mounting this bad boy. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. <gasps> but um let's see if we can get this in here for this. I did was just make that right there. That little dude. Oh! And there it is. Put the fitting on. I'm human. Whew, I was worried about that. Well, that settles it. You are human after all. <laughs> there it was. I'm human. Mistake gone. All right. There's that one. Oh, here we go. come through on their own. 
this should go through here and grab the wall. Yeah. Seems to be. Okay, so what are the two copper pipes? Those are the... For the refrigeration? Yeah, those are the refrigeration lines. This is the drain mm -hmm. and for the electricity. So, and just for interesting note, the elect the the power for this is actually comes from the outside unit so you're only powering this whole thing in one place for the pioneer so this is providing the fan motor power and all the electronics back to the back where the uh, compressor is Right here. There's the wiring. Red pack. is one. Yeah, I can feel it getting tight. Two is blue. And I don't have a blue wire here. Are you kidding what me? What in God's name, people? What are the other two colors that they give? Black. It says blue uh, in parentheses black. Well, it should be white. Or yellow. I don't have a yellow one. Or yellow green. So the last one which is always ground anyway. It must be green. Pioneer, learn from this. You mark it just like it says it's supposed to be. Don't make people think like this, because this is like, you're giving them no alternative and it's too scary. It, it has to be this. And hopefully at the other end, I'm, I'm having them make the same decision or this is gonna be fire. And then a little cover goes on that. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. We have to go from here to our little nipple connections down there. And then, then we can pressure test it. hot. Shade it under the towel. Oh, there you go. Oh, thank you, Cloud. That was You're a good little guy. so nice. Just stay yeah. right there. Stay right there, good buddy. Got it. Almost done. Oh, we got to run power, too. Waterproof, pretty easy. I think we got a vacuum. I just vacuumed the air out of all of the tubes here, all the way up to the front of the bus and out all the air out of the um, of the inside module and then I'll disconnect this whole thing and open up the valves on the side of the of this here there's some valves and we open those up and this is pre-charged and it'll blow free on into the system so if that's the case we'll get some cold air here if everything works right but the first thing we're doing is we're using this right here. Now, I turn this on, so this sucks the air out and it brings this down, you know, ideally get down to minus 30, but depends on the altitude you're at. We're a little more altitude here. And uh, so I'm sucking the air out, then I'm gonna turn this off and watch this needle. And this needle, if, if, we, don't, if, if we don't have any leaks, this needle will be perfectly static and it won't move. So that's really what we're going for here is we're just pressure testing it right now. I sucked all the air out. I closed this valve. So basically this is monitoring 
all the tubing in the bus right now relating to the air conditioning and if this thing doesn't move at all then we can call it we can call it good they say it's good for 16 feet these things come with a charge for 16 feet of hose we're using probably 30 so i imagine we'll probably need more but what will probably happen is the unit up there will get too cold and freeze up we'll see what happens though so we just loosen it like this and all the freon the pre-charge just went into the system right now and so really all that's left to do is uh go power up the system and uh have cold air <laughs> that's it or there or there let's go try it it's working except for the part where it's not getting super cool it's a tiny bit cool but not what it should be cool and that's mainly because as we talked about earlier they pre-charge it but they pre-charge it for 16 feet and we're probably pushing 30 plus feet on this so we bought a 50 foot hose so we could string it through here now we just need i guess we're gonna have to have an air conditioning guy come out and put some r410 in here because we don't have that and that's a you have to pay to have that done unfortunately there's definitely you can feel it there's some cool to it but it's not cold like it should be it should be like blowing 40 degree air that's not 40 degree air it's like 70 degree air Close, actually it's no, no no come feel this come feel this tell me that's not getting cold now oh yeah it's definitely getting oh cold. now it's getting cold it was doing that was the three minute wait period <sighs> let's close all the doors and windows all right temperature in the bus is 92 degrees it's cold in here <laughs> not kidding freeze you. the debt our air conditioning is making it too cold. Let's look. What do we got? Boy, there's a big difference between back here. OMG. 76 degrees in here. That is awesome. We had it set to 63 for the test. But, uh, I mean, if I had it set to 75 right now, it would have turned off. Like, this is so great. Oh, I'm so happy about this right now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stop staring at my butt. <laughs> All of you. It's kind of hard to miss. You're all freaks. All of you. 